Welcome to 40k's Captain Shenanigans. Today we have our first battle report. It's Stormcast versus Fire Slayers. So today I'm bringing my Fire Slayers. This is 1,995 points. I have a Battle Regiment and a Vanguard. Starting with the Battle Regiment, I've got a General, who's my Rune Father on foot, who has Warrior Indominate as his um, trait, which is an aura of minus one to wound. My other leaders I have in this battalion are a Rune Father on Magmadroth, he has the artifact, the Tyrant Slayer, and the uh, Magma Droth trait, the Cold Hearted Ancient. Then I also have a Rune Master, who has a Prayer of Ash and Volcano's Call. For my basic troops, I've got one squad of 15 Hearthguard Berserkers with pole axes, two squads of five Hearthguard Berserkers with pole axes, and two squads of five Auric Hearthguard Berserkers. In my Vanguard Detachment, I have a Rune Smiter with Ember Storm and Runic Empowerment. The Rune Smiter will be generally normally held in reserve and can deep strike up with the other unit that's in the Vanguard, which is one squad of uh, 15 Hearthguard Berserkers with Pole Axes as well. And then last but not least, um, I've got one more leader who didn't fit into either of the um, detachments, and that's just the, the Battlesmith. So that's my 1,995 points of Fire Slayers. And just to add on to that, as I forgot to mention there, my Fire Slayers that I'm taking are Homedar. Um, so they get certain abilities for, for being Homedar. One of them is the Warlord trait, which I've taken, which is the Warrior Indomitant. And then the um, Artifact of Power, which I've taken as well, the, the Tyrant Slayer. Um, but they also have the opportunity um, to spend a command point and be able to um, fight first as well. So my 1980 point Hammers of Sigmar Stormcast list consists of one battalion. In that battalion is Bastion, the Lord Commander, a Knight Draconis, who is my general with the command trait Shock and Awe, the artifact Hammer of Might, and the mount trait Celestial Instincts, with three battle line units of Vindictors, uh, both with primes and banners, giving plus one to the leadership. A unit of two uh, Storm Drake Guard with a prime, and a single Storm Drake Guard, which is a prime, and then a unit of Long Strike Raptors. And that is my full unit. My holy command is uh, the shoot in the hero phase uh, command. And that is my full army. Okay, so we've rolled off for who picks side. Rick won the roll off for who picks side and picked to go on the red side. So I've gone on the yellow side over here. Um, we are playing today Feral Foray. Um, so we'll go through the uh, rules for that as we go. But I'll just point out where all the objectives are here. So we've got one objective here, one here. One here, and then over on Rick's side, Rick can point them out. Got one down there next to the dragons. 
one in the middle and then one off to the side. So Rick was a two drop army, I was a three drop army. So that means that um, Rick will get to pick who goes first, has he decided? You can go first. I will go first, okay. So that's us then, we'll get cracking into turn one. For my hero phase, um, at the beginning of the hero phase, we both did our heroic actions. Um, I went to get a command point with my Magma Droth, and Rick went to get a command point with his... Knight Draconis. Knight Draconis at the back there. Uh, Rick actually failed, and I managed to get a, a command point on mine for that. Um, we picked the uh, Ferocious Advance battle tactic, um, and then just for the first turn, because there's not much else going on this turn, I picked the, the Rune of Farsight for... Um, Reroll ones to hit with the throwing axes just to get it out of the way basically. I get the two command points because it was my turn and then Rick gets the three um, on his side. So that's the hero phase for the fire slayers done. We'll move on to the movement phase next. Okay so that's my movement phase done. Um, just to summarize as well um, a couple of prayers did go off on this unit of Hearthguard Berserkers here. The Rune Smiter cast Runic Empowerment on them and the Rune Master cast Prayer of Ash on them. So Prayer of Ash is plus one to their save. Uh, runic Empowerment, I believe, is reroll wounds. Um, apart from that, that is about all for my turn, actually. Um, I've got no shooting, and I've got nothing in range to charge. Uh, so that's the end of Fire Slayer's turn one. Uh, finishing off points-wise, um, I achieved my battle tactic, because these um, three units here, the... Hearthguard Berserkers, the Rune Smiter, and the Auric Hearthguard Berserkers all ran and finished within three inches of each other. Uh, so that's two points for that. And then I get two points for holding three objectives. Um, I'm not holding more, so just the two points. So that's four points at the end of Fire Slayers, turn one. Okay, so the beginning of Rick's hero phase. Uh, we've both failed uh, to gain an extra CP for our... Um, heroic actions, um, but Rick is about to do what are you about to do. Um, so Bastian gets to do an ability in his hero phase where I can target any enemy model on the on the table, and I roll uh, a number of dice equal to that model's wounds characteristic. So I'm going to target the Magma Droth. It has 14 wounds, so I'm going to roll 14 dice, and any sixes is going to be a mortal wound, and I get two mortal wounds. Okay, so that's two more wounds on the Magma Drop, taking them down to 12 wounds from 14. And then my last thing in the hero phase I'm going to do is I am going to fire my uh, long strikes mm -hmm. at the Magma Drop okay. using my holy command that I can do once per game. Yep. The inches probably not going to be in range. No, not in range. So that's wasted. That's good. okay. And that is my. That's your hero phase. That's my hero phase. Okay, we'll move on to the movement phase. So, what's your plan, Rick? Uh, they're going to. If be, you don't mind me asking, obviously. They're going to be um, running the, the the three units of dragons, obviously because of my ferocious advance to get yep. me the extra victory point. Yep. I'm just going to slightly move forward, hopefully going in for the double turn. Okay, coops. Definitely want to get the long strikes up. Do they suffer any reduction in range or anything if they move? Or? No, they're a new war scroll. Basically, it's just now a, a flat 30 inches rather than if they stand still, they gain the extra 6 inches like they used to. They're just minus 1 to hit because they're not painted? Well, I lose 10 victory points. <laughs> well, no. All right, I'm going to do the dragon up front. Oh, he's going somewhere. So for the Ferocious Advance, uh, for people that don't know that, it's all three because they're monsters. Um, if they finish within three inches of each other at the end, they get an additional point. So Rick will get three points instead of two points for this. The, the extra D6 for the movement doesn't really make a difference because I'm not moving. You've got your 12 inch anyway, yeah. Just, it's, you're just declaring that they've ran, basically. 
So that's three points for Rick straight away in the bag. And then obviously we know he's going to hold the two. And I'm going to run these. So. And that is my movement phase. All right, perfect. So then we do have some shooting. Yes, my long shots. Yep, so um, we're, if you bear with us one second, we'll get back to that in two seconds. Okay, so Rick's got his shooting to do here, and he's going to fire his... Well, then I fire my long straight Raptors at the Battlesmith. Okay, cokes. And I'm going to use a CP from Bastion to give them all that attack. So I'm going to be hitting on twos, but because you're within three inches of a unit, I'm going to be hitting on threes. Yep. And I'm surprisingly going to use a CP for all out defense. Yeah. So threes to hit. Um, sixes are two more wounds. So no is. sixes is good to see. For me, anyway. So that is eight hits. Twos to wound. Uh, threes to wound because of my warrior and dominant. Even better. Yep. And that is five. So that's five minus saves. two rend hits. Five at minus two. Yeah. Um, so I have a four up save base, and then I get a plus one save um, from the battlesmith himself. So five. Uh, and I save one. So that will be eight of damage. So that is, if you just bear with us one second, I just want to double check the bodyguard rule here. Okay, yeah, so that's four that have come through, um, which equates to eight wounds. And on fours, these get passed on to the Auric Earth Guard. So that's one Auric dead, two Aurics dead, two and a half Aurics dead, and uh, three wounds going through to the Battlesmith putting him on two wounds remaining. Okay, so that's the end of the turn. Um, so Rick killed two and a half Auric Hearthguard um, and took three wounds off of the Battlesmith. He picked up um, three points for a Ferocious Advance with the um, Dragons, all advancing, and then two points for holding the three objectives and not holding more. So that is the end of turn one, and scores are sitting at four points to the Fire Slayers, and five points to the Stormcast. Which one, do, what do you want, Rick? You want to double me now, or do you want to? I, I, I would, I don't know, I, I think I would like to double you. I'm definitely in a good position to do some damage to your army. Okay, well, as you're a guest, I'll let you go first then. Oh, thank you. I got a six. Oh dear. <laughs> well, I don't even need to roll then, do I? Oh no, do I get the. Uh... Yes, because if you get a six, you get the choose to Well, I get a four. So uh, feel um, free I will, to. I will take it. Okay, so that's turn two to Stormcast. So we weren't going to film this part, but I've decided to just uh, sneakily film away here. Bastion is um, raining down lightning again on my Magma Droth. And on sixes, uh, it's mortal wounds. And uh, Rick only went and rolled five sixes. So five mortal wounds uh, taking me down to now only seven left. So I uh, haven't even left my own territory yet. And he's down to seven wounds already. That's a pretty awesome command ability. It's, it's and even, very thematic. It's not even a command ability. It's just, is it not? It's, it's just, just an ability. ability. Yeah, it's just That's brilliant. Ability. And what are you doing with the dragons here next? You're doing something else um, with them? They get to have a free manoeuvre in the hero phase uh, once per game. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the, the unit of two and the single drake is going to um, do it. Uh, another thing that the dragons are able to do in the hero phase, if they're within wholly within 12 inches of the knight draconis, he gets them to shoot in the hero phase. Mm -hmm. And they can do that once per game per unit. Uh, so I'm going to do um, the manoeuvre. So this dragon will come over and say hello to your magma broth. Oh, I see. You wait till he's uh, you wait till he's nearly dead, and then just swoop in and claim the glory. I see how it is. Yeah, that's how that's how it works. And then this one's just going. To... Okay. Well, I'll let Rick finish his movement there, and then we'll catch you in the shooting phase. Okay. So that's the end of the Rick's movement phase. Moved everyone up just a little bit. Rick's very aware that if I go second, 
in turn three. Yeah, you'll. Then I get to burn an objective, yeah. and I could burn one of his um, at the back, uh, meaning that he would need to push up to to get the control more. Um, it's a little bit of a development over here. So the dragons moved up. They moved up within nine inches of my hearthguard berserkers. Um, so I spent a command point um, and redeployed them. Uh, redeployed, rolled a six inch redeploy. Um, so I moved them to block off the magma drop. Now, potentially there's lots of uh, fiery breath still coming through that could that could kill my magma drop, but it's just to form some line of a defense uh, to the magma drop there. Uh, but that's it, generally all moved up, and then we'll be seeing what happens next with these uh, flaming attacks. So we'll catch you at the end. Well, um, uh, we'll probably we'll probably film some of the shooting actually. Um, yeah. It's only the dragons and the archers. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's go straight into it then. Okay. So we'll do that next. Just to catch there as well, Rick's battle tactic for this turn is uh, Savage Spearhead, um, which he has achieved as well. Uh, so that means he's going to get another three points. Uh, this turn because he achieved um, this ability with um, the dragons. So the dragons they seem pretty pretty good at the minute for mobility, moving around and getting the extra yeah they've got points the, for the battle tactics yeah, anyway. Yeah, they they really they give the, the stormcast that extra options. And potentially yeah. if you kill if you kill my magma drop here, you can get another point. Yeah, as well, which would be which would be a good haul. Okay, so who's going next? So I'm gonna fire. The long strikes at your battlesmith because um, you don't, I don't like, like him. I don't like him. No. Nope. Three, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So it'll be twelve shots. Um, again, um, I'm gonna uh, use Bastion's free ability, mm -hmm. uh, free command ability to give them all that attack. So I'm still hitting on threes because you're with one inch of a, another unit. I I don't think. Um, well, to be honest, I actually just realised now that I don't even think I rolled for any of the all-out defense last time because that would have given plus one save no, you, you, yeah you i didn't i didn't i didn't calculate that so um i am um, i think i'm gonna save it and i think i'm probably gonna end up using it on the magma drop so yep fire away so six is a mortal wounds mm -hmm. so that is two automatic mortal wounds and that's seven hits looking for Twos, but you've got a press on back the threes. Uh, it's the uh, yeah. warlord trait, yeah. So threes. Um, that's only three minus two. Three at so minus it's... two, so that takes me straight to sixes. Uh, of which I roll two sixes. Cool. Oh, so no way. Two damage. So two damage. Needing fours. Needing fours. It's gonna be one four. Two fours. So, so he takes two mortal wounds. So um, the they can be passed off onto the unit. So you've got an extra. Oh, dice. I take two two more wounds as well on top. Yeah, so you've on got top of roll another two dice. Okay. Uh, so yep. So it's just yeah. that means that I've, I get three wounds passed over to the oryx. So that's another two dead, and then one wound passed over to the battlesmith who just doesn't want to die. <laughs> so what we got up next? The dragons. Yeah. So the the. The Knight Draconis is going to fire into the Hearthguard Berserkers at the front. Mm -hmm. So the way this works is 1d6. Um, on a 1 and 2, nothing happens. On a 3 and 4, it's d3 mortal wounds. And on a 5 and 6, it's a d6 mortal wound. So I'm going to go 1, that's, nothing. That's a, a Rick roll right there. Yep. Uh, You'll get to know these guys, the Rick rolls. <laughs> Rick rolls ones. The, the single uh, Stormguard, he's going to fire into the Hearthguard Berserkers in front of him. And I got three, okay. so that's D3 mortal wounds for one. Okay, and because my Hearthguard Berserkers are Hearthguard Berserkers, and they're in the range of the heroes uh, here, um, they will get, is this mortals, yeah? One mortal. Yeah. They'll get a four up ward save, which they pass. So here's and fine. And the two are within range of the Magma Droth, so they're going to put this into the Magma Droth. So again... Uh, one Rick field, rolls ones, yeah. And D3 for two. Two. Okay, and there's nothing I can do there, so that takes him down to the grand total of five wounds. He's on two now. Quite bad. Yeah, that I, that wasn't as scary as I thought it'd be. Yeah. Uh, so next up is the charges. Charge base. Okay, so charges have gone off. 
Um, the dragons have made it in. As you can see, my Hearthguard Berserkers have actually already piled in. I've spent a CP for, um, I think it's called Skull Takers and Oath Breakers, um, to allow my 15-man Hearthguard Berserker unit to strike um, before we pick who, who fights. Um, and then I've also spent another CP um, to give them um, all-out attack. Um, and then we're going to be going into the unit of two dragons there. That these two are yep, in yep. one unit, yeah. Red and blue. Um, so let me just dot, get the dots together for this, and then we'll roll up on camera. For sixes, which I've got. Yeah, I'm fishing for sixes, um, and something to bear in mind: Rick's actually played played all out defense, which actually gives him a two up save, um, and my pole axes don't have any rend. Um, so I've got um, eleven in range, um, including the Carl. So that's twenty three attacks uh, that I'll be getting. Um, I'm looking for sixes. Sixes would be good. Uh, sixes are an automatic um, two mortal wounds. Oh dear. Oh dear. Five. Uh, six. So that's 12 mortal wounds already, which is horrible. Um, and then picking out the ones. Uh, all out attack is not reroll ones anymore. It's plus one. Plus one hit. Wow. Okay, um, so that means then I am hitting on twos. So 12 mortals so far, and then I believe I'm wounded on threes. I will double check, but I'm wounded on threes re-rolling because I still have runic empowerment on. Uh, so there's two out there. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 wounds. But you are getting your 2-up save against those. 18? Uh, 19. But no rent. What 2-ups? So the 2-up is definitely going to come in handy here. Not really. Uh, and then I've got a six up, so that would be 12, six, eight, 10, 12, 12 uh, more wounds plus the extra yeah. that I feel on sixes. Yeah. Probably lose a dragon here. Uh, nothing. So that's wow. two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's one dead dragon. Two, four, six, eight. Two dead dragons. Oh, exactly two dead dragons. Uh, they will now blow up because of Blaze of Yes, Glory, of course, and you're nine. So... 20 dice going back into you. Okay. So, well, let's. we might as well film that. So 20 dice. Yep. Um, sixes. Uh, that's two more wounds. There, there is definitely a reason why Hearthguard Berserkers have now been limited to sizes of 15. I think it's the fact that you, you've got mortal wounds on top of additional damage. Yeah. So it's like where my mortal wounds for these guys yeah. stops the roll. Yeah. Um, and the same as the mortal wounds. Yeah, for whereas these, mine continues. But yours yours yeah. carries on over. Yeah. So that's two dead dragons straight away. Okay, cool. So up next um, is going to be Rick's choice. <laughs> my last dragon. His last dragon. Uh, so we will roll up for that in just a second okay so here we go so my Rich dragon going in storm drake guard has three attacks basic but he gets an extra one before prime so i'm going to be hitting on threes and then wounding mm -hmm. on threes nothing happens on sixes no, no nothing happens um so that's two minus two rend okay uh, so that is, I believe, into the five man unit. Uh, into the five man unit. So they go straight through because I believe my saves uh, five up normally. So that's um, four, two, four, six, eight damage. That's pretty tasty. Uh, so that's eight damage because of my magma drop. There, I'm still getting fours to ignore. Um, so I ignore all bar two. Uh, so that's one dead. And now the dragon. Uh, all hit. 
Um, two minus two saves. Uh, straight through again. Uh, doing another four damage. Another four damage. Four damage total. Yep. Uh, so ignore two more. So that is another one dead. And after this model has fought, yep. um, basically my dragon's going to eat a guy. Okay. So I roll the dice and I have to roll He's higher hungry. than your wound. So okay. Two plus. Yep. I roll a six, yes. so one more guy's dead. Okie dokie. So three dead out of that unit. And that's it. And then, so I will attack you back then. Um, so there are two, four. So just five attacks there, the Carl and then a normal guy. Hitting on threes. Not going as well. Wounding on threes. One wound, no rend. No so nothing. Threes. Passed. He's all good. So, um, don't know whether anyone knows uh, the Fire Slayers rules or not on the Hermdar rules. Um, although I've taken three casualties because I'm on an objective, um, I am actually immune to Battle Shock. Uh, hence why uh, these ones here, uh, the Auric Earth Guard, have not taken any Battle Shock either. Uh, so that's the end of Rick's turn. Although the dragon killing was brutal. Um, oh, is it the end of the turn? You calculate it. Mm -hmm. And is it wholly within? Um. Oh. Did I just do? Yeah, so I don't, cut, I don't get my battle tactic. So he doesn't get his battle tactic. So um, he gets two points for holding the three objectives and not holding more. How many... Yeah, you, you I yes, I will get a point for this turn, not calculating yet because I've killed a monster. Um but so that leaves Rick at the end of that turn, five points turn one, two points turn seven. two, on seven points, uh to my four so far. So we'll catch you in the hero phase on Fire Slayers turn two. Yeah. When I actually supposed to have done them. So Rick is a little bit sad at the minute, but um, probably for good reason. We have realised, I'll talk you through the uh, hero phase and my movement phase in a minute, that um, when Rick's dragons came in that he could have done his monstrous ability. Monstrous actions. Yeah, monstrous actions. However, what we did do, um, and then that would have meant that the Hearthguard Berserkers couldn't use any uh, command abilities, uh, but Rick did roll a dice and it was a two. So it wouldn't have gone off anyway. Uh, so if that's any consolation, I don't, I don't really think it is. But uh, uh, just to let you guys know. Okay, so uh, the hero phase for myself. Um, I failed my heroic action trying to regain wounds on the Magma Drop. Um, and Rick, what did you do for your heroic action? Uh, my Knight Draconis um, is having his finest hour, giving me plus one to wound and plus one to my save. And okay, uh, so and then anything else from the hero face for me? Um, these guys got Ember Storm uh, cast on them um, by the Rune Smiter before the Rune Smiter then retreated um, with the rest here. Uh, I actually played the Rune of Relentless Zeal this turn, so all of my um, Fire Slayers are getting an extra two inches to the move. Um, the Hearthguard Berserkers here were from the same uh, Vanguard detachment as the Rune Smiter, um, so that means that they can use the uh, command ability for free uh, to auto advance six inches, which is how they got to where they are. When they moved up, of uh, Mr. Heroicness, um, he ran away. Uh, and Rick actually rolled a six, so he's moved away six inches, so that's going to be a big old charge for me there. Uh, and the Magma Dross um, just, just moved up. In, um, into range of combat there, make sure I stay out of the, the three inches. And then moving over to this side of the board, uh, the Hearthguard Berserkers are moving up their six inches as well. Um, and the Rune Master has cast uh, the Prayer of Ash onto them. Uh, so they're getting a plus one, plus one save. The Bodyguard have moved over to help protect the characters a little bit more. Um, and the Hearthguard Berserkers have just stayed at the back on the objective here. So, I don't really have any shooting. I've got one, um, possibly one uh, breath attack to do over here. I'll just do that off camera. Um, and then we'll maybe roll some of the charges on camera just because they could be quite pivotal to how the game ends. Uh, so we'll be back in two seconds. Roaring Firestorm. I need to, on 2d6, roll less than the numbers of models in that unit. Uh, 
and there's only one. So that's not going to happen. Uh, so we'll move on to the charges next. So let's have a little look. I'll start over here. Um, or will I start over here? No. This one. This one is more important. And I just realised I've made a mistake. Okay, might pay for this. So I'm gonna. It's gonna be nine because I moved. I moved just outside of three, and you moved six away. So, no. and that is a seven. Um, I can use a command ability to reroll that, can't I? So do you have any left? Yeah, one because I got the run for free. Um, I would like to get in there. Um, okay, yeah, we'll go for it. Seven again. So that's not to be, um, which actually means that not only did you not make your savage spearhead, but uh, you don't make I boo booed as well. Yeah, so I'm not going to make it either. Okay, um, so we'll go with this next unit here. What am I needing there, Rick? Um, it's a big one. I think it's eight. Probably going to, it's at least a nine inch. Oh, there we go. An 11. Nice. That'll do. Oh, I could go after El Capitan. Okay, I'll move these in and we'll see what we do next. Okay, so I actually forgot for a minute that we're playing Age of Sigmar, not 40k. So although I rolled um, and I was wanting to get into Rick's General, um, I rolled a 7 inch which allowed me to go back, which was my plan all along. If it failed, to go back into this dragon here and finish him off. So they've actually gone back um, into the dragon there. Um, I have uh, consolidated in as well because I'm about to attack here as well, but I'll just show you the movement from the other ones over here. I ended up deciding just to go into the, what are the new guys called? Vindictors. The Vindictors. Um, I didn't particularly want to get uh, Mr. Grandfather Stormcast into close combat with me, um, and I didn't particularly want to get shot. Um, but I'm hoping if I wipe them, I can claim that objective at the back. Um, and then if possibly get a double turn, I think we may be lights out for Rick. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. That's the thing. You never know uh, in Age of Sigma whether you're going to get the double turn or not. Uh, so going in here again, so it's 11 um, and the Carl. So that's 23 attacks again uh, on the dragon here. So sixes are good. Uh, no sixes. Oh dear. And sixes. Uh, so, so far it's only four mortal wounds. Uh, that is very good news for you, actually. I like that. Better than the 12 that you did last time. Yeah. See, it just shows. Like, I, off the same amount of dice. Um, so. Well, we both have no CP, so there's another. Yeah. So, threes. And threes. So that's two, four, six. 8, 10, 12, 13 saves of 3 up, yep. um, and then 4 mortals. So 13 3 up. So he failed 4. So he won't die. So that's 8, um, 6 ups because he's holding within 6 yep. inches of that objective, yep. 12 inches. Um, and he passes so two. So he takes six wounds. So he's a downed two, three left. So three wounds left on the dragon. And then it's Rick's pick to go who's next, to um, see who goes next. So he's got three left. Um, I'm... So I've got two Hearthguard Berserkers left there. Yeah, That's it. could kill that dragon. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to... Gonna go for the dragon first. Okay, you sure? So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the prime on top four attacks, threes yep. followed by threes. Uh, minus one rend. So that's three minus one um, saves. Uh, so these guys are on sixes. Uh, so they all go through. So that's three damage. Uh, just three damage, yeah. Yeah. Fours. Uh, so one guy's dead. And then the dragon, threes followed by threes, all hit. Uh, one wound. Oh, oh no! Well, this is rend two. Sixes. Can't see what I rolled. Rolled a four. That's a four. Yeah, it's a four. So it's two three. Damage. Two damage. Just need one four. And I get 
two fives. So he's still alive. Easy to kill them. Oh dear. I don't think that guy's going to be able to kill the, last, the dragon, so... Well, funnily enough, I'm not going to go there next. And at the end of his thing, um, at the end of his... Oh, he, he gets to eat me. He gets to try to eat yes. the guy. And I got a three, so he's eaten. Well, that's... that's so I killed him. Yummy. Okay. So that is... Both of those two guys. Yep. That unit of Herkar Berserkers is now finished off. Uh, so so that's how we're finished there with your dragon on... Three wounds left. Three wounds left. Okay. Uh, so then we'll move on to this combat over here. Um, I might just do a tiny little bit of piling in. Um, yeah, yeah, I will. So bear me one second and we'll come back once I've piled okay. in. So here we are. I've managed to get uh, nine in with their two inch range and the pole axes. Uh, so that's 18 attacks. Plus one for the car. Yeah, I get 5G here. 5Gs? You get 5G? I don't even get 5G here. 5G? It's the first time I've seen 5G on my phone. Happy days. So this doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so we are going for threes. Sixes are good. Uh, so that's six mortals straight away. And get rid of those. Needing threes? Yep, needing threes. You dropped one box. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen wounds in total, and six mortals. So, three up. Oh, they're loving it. That was absolutely brilliant. loving it. Yeah. And then seven more wounds on, or seven wounds on sixes. Yep. Uh, so that's one, two, three dead. Okay. okay. So that, that wasn't too bad, actually. He's going to die. He's going to die. Fortunately, Karen is going to have to die. But because these two were within an inch, mm -hmm. I'll be rolling six dice. And then on sixes, you'll take mortal wounds. Mm -hmm. uh, one mortal wound. Do I ignore? No, I do not. One more wound taken. Uh, and then Rick's just going to get to attack back with his two guys. Yeah, so I'll pile in. Uh, there's a two inch reach, so five attacks. Threes followed by threes. Uh, that's one more wound. So two at minus one saves. So the two at minus one, I'm back to fives now because I've got Prayer of Ash on. Give me a four up. So fives means one is saved. And then how many damage? Uh, two, so one mortal wound and one so damage. So one mortal wound and one damage, just one damage each, the weapon going yep. through you. Fours, uh, so one wound taken. So that means that one is actually dead. Uh, so I will take him away. And I should be within six. Um, you've only got one guy within range. That's not very good. Yep. Well, no, you've got yeah. three. So you've, you've just caught that objective. And, of course, you will need to take Battle Shock on them as well. Um, but your, your leadership's good, isn't it? Because you're Yeah, they've got plus one because of the banner. Yeah, so you shouldn't be going anywhere. I'm good. Happy days. Uh, okay, so that is it. That's the end of my turn. Um, well... Yeah, so I didn't achieve uh, Savage Spearhead either. So that's actually quite comical, but I did get, did um, I did take the objective over here, um, which gives me three points because I hold more. Um, and then I also got the one point that turn for um, slaying the dragon yep. in, in Rick's turn as well. Uh, so that gets me four points so that turn. Eight to seven. Um, yeah. So at the minute, uh, it is, yeah, eight to seven. Uh, eight to Fire Slayers, seven to Stormcast. Mm -hmm. um, this is a big moment. Very big moment. Who, um, who, who loses although it's team? less big now, actually, because it's less big because I, I didn't wipe them. If I'd wiped them, it would have been a different story. Yeah. Um, so do I really want a double turn here? I, I don't know if I do... Because what do I do with a double turn, in all honesty? A double turn now, for me, means that you 
um, burn mm. one of my objectives. Yeah. Um, and oh, let's just see. Enough talking. You're the guest. I'll let you go first again. You want a six five. again? Oh, five. And a one. So it's Rick's decision. Um, I'm actually going to take it. Okay, coax. So I'll let you burn on one of my objectives or burn a objective. Okay. Um, all right. I will. I'll burn your one in the far corner then. No problem. I expected that. Okay, so um, we will catch you back at the end of the hero phase. Uh, Bastian did his lightning storm on the magma drop again, uh, doing um, another two, two mortal wounds. wounds. Yeah, so down to three wounds on the magma drop now. So he's not in very good. State. And my vindictors um, rallied two guys back. So two guys back there as well. So Karen is back. Karen is back. Uh, Karen, if anyone is wondering what we are talking about, <laughs> is the female stormcast there? Stormcast Karen. Okay, and anything else from the hero phase? Oh yes, my heroic magma drop once again <laughs> failed to heal himself. He is. Uh, well, you can't. You you can because you're not within three. So yeah, he's yeah. definitely he's definitely not heroic. Um, I think we can say that for sure. Um, okay, so that's it. That's the end of Rick's hero phase. We'll move on to the movement phase next. Okay, so end of the movement phase. Little bit of a oh. Where's the dragon gone? Peekaboo! He's, he's hiding behind the rock. Uh, to be fair, if I saw 20 Hearth, or 15 Hearthguard Berserkers running at me, I would hide behind the rock as well. Um, so he has fallen back behind the rock. Uh, the Stormcast have run and moved into this position here. Uh, your... what's the dragon called again? The Night Draconis. The Night Draconis has moved over. Uh, getting ready to flame and charge the Auric Hearthguard Berserkers. And then Bastion yes. has uh, moved over as well. He wants in a little bit of the action. He wants to get his damage... Is it damage 4? Damage his 4. Damage yeah. 4 hammer out. Um, and that's about it. So that's the movement phase done. We will move on to the shooting phase next. Are you ready to go or do you want to... Come back to it. We'll come back to it. Okay, we'll come back in two seconds. So we're just measuring up, making sure that the dragon's in range for the flame attack. Looks like we are. Hey! I was going to say Rick rolls ones, but he doesn't. He I rolls rolled twos. A, I rolled a twos uh, which again. is what? What? That means he does nothing. He does nothing. Okay. Um, he has no breath. Okay. He's out of breath from. So with that. Much. um the long strikes. long strikes will be firing into the Hearthguard okay. Berserkers. I yep. was hoping to do a lot more damage with them from the Dragon. Yep. And if I had, then the Battlesmith was going to take another round of shooting from the long strikes. So, okay. Uh, these are going to be hitting on threes. Uh, that is two mortal wounds. Uh, two each? Uh, two each, yes. Two each, yeah. So four mortal wounds to start. And then twos, because uh, I'm no longer minus one. Um, and that is going to be um, five minus two saves. Okay, so we'll go with the five minus two saves first of all. I've got Prayer of Ash, so I'm on a four up save. So this takes me to sixes, of which I roll none. So that's ten damage. So, so ten damage so far, in fourteen in total. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Four ups. So one dead, one fine, one fine, one fine. So one dead, two dead, three dead, four dead. And that was a good round of shooting. Yeah. Because they are they're pretty pretty tough to bring down normally. Mm -hmm. So that's four dead from them. Is that all your shooting done? That is all of the shooting. Okay, perfect. Well I'll get those models removed and then we'll go into the charge phase. A unit champion. We are just having a little chat about this combat here. So I've Spent my command point to attack first with them. Oh, yeah. What? That's a good question. I might not actually be able to attack first here, um, because what we're just looking up is. Well, you were. Um, you were. You were within. 
Well, I need to check if it's yeah. Within it's I think it's I think it'll be wholly within. Um, so we will come back in a second once we've just checked this rule over here. So we've just checked the word in on the rules for using the command abilities, and we believe that the Carl uh, in my unit can still use the uh, command ability um, for me attacking first. Um, the uh, ba -ba -ba, skull, skull something. Let's have a little check. Skull breakers and oath takers um, for me to attack first over here. But the the main question is, who do I attack? Rick has just <laughs> Rick has just told me uh, that Bastion. Um, if I don't kill him, and by the way, he has a two-up save and a four-up ward save. Yeah, this turn, yeah, yeah. because of all up, um, his final style. Yeah, if I do not kill him and he kills one of my models, he regains all eight of his wounds at the end of the phase. So that is making me question whether I put more attacks into the Vindictors um, at the back. Um, so at the minute, I can get 17 attacks into Bastion, um, or I can get um, eight into Bastion and 11 into the Vindictors. Um, okay, um, we'll come back to this. I'm going to have to have a little think, I think. I've just done a little bit of math, and um, I don't think I kill Bastion, um, even with the um, 18, 19 attacks, actually, it'll be with the car. Um, so... No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, four normal guys into Bastion. And then I'm going to go five and the Carl into the dude at the back. So we'll start off with the, dudes. Um, the ones into Bastion. So that's two mortals. And five two-up saves. So five two-ups. Guaranteed to roll at least one one. Wouldn't be me otherwise. Oh no, didn't, didn't. roll any. Didn't roll any. And then, and then your fours. Two mortals on fours. Yeah, this is. I uh... uh, no. He loved so it. So that's what it's like fighting a Hearthgar Berserker, basically. Yes. Yeah. So that's what it feels like. It doesn't feel good. Um, okay. Then we're going to go eleven into uh, the dudes at the back. They're going to go on our defense. Okay. Uh, so we've got four mortals. And you want to see it? Four mortals and six wounds and so, no rent. So six two ups. They passed everything. These won't die. And then uh, four mortals on sixes. Uh, wow, just two one failed. One just died. One. So this young lady at the back can die. Okay. Well, that wasn't very. Amazing. So let's see what Bastion's got to offer. We're going to go Bastion next. Yeah, we'll do Bastion. Doesn't really matter who goes next. So I'm Bastion very interested to see this guy. So he's going to be hitting on threes. I probably used all my good rolls. Uh, nope. Wow. No, all you hit. definitely didn't. Uh, two to wound. Uh, all wounded. Wow. That's four minus two saves. Just trying to get a bit of a close up of this guy. He is a monster. So four at minus two. Yep. Okay. So sixes. None. So that that's would be twelve damage. A lot of damage. That's sixteen damage, isn't it? They're four damage each. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah. Two, 16. four, six, eight, Ooh. ten, twelve, thirteen. Don't see all four 15, Come on, Earth Guard. So one dead. That was not this is not good. Two dead. Three dead. Four dead, five dead, six dead. Ouch, ouch. That's my boy. Okay. Um, what are we going to do here? Uh, okay, I'm going to need to pull these off camera, I think, because I need to be strategic with the way I pull these. Um, okay, so we'll catch back in a second, and then it'll be the time for the uh, Vindictors to hit back. Okay, so I pulled them away there. I just wanted to make sure that my guys stay within 12 of the objective because if any for any reason they survive, then they'll be immune to battle shock. Um, if if they survive. But Rick has just completed his battle tactic, pretty uh, much, because, yeah, you, yeah, because yeah. you wiped me yeah, off yeah. of that objective, yeah, so you, that. you need to control... Is uh, it just I controlling would... two in your own 
No, I went for conquest the, yeah. to take a, an objective that you uh, control. Okay. Yeah. So you had it by one model. So brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so Vindictor's next. So threes followed by threes. Yeah, I knew I'd get ones eventually. Uh, one minus one save. Okay. Past. They weren't inspired by okay. Bastion. Okay. So, I stand defiant with four Hearth Guard Berserkers left there. Okay, at the end of your turn. Yeah. So you get. I control two, so I get uh, two points for that. Yeah, I don't get more, and I get my two points for this, so four. Okay, so four points in total so to Rick. To 11. Taking you up to 11 to my eight. Uh, so that's the end of Rick's turn. We'll go on to Fire Slayer's turn three. Next. things done here first thing i have played the rune of fury um, which allows me to re-roll ones for attacks made by friendly fire slayer units so i've got a little bit of a plan taken away here um, and i've gone for bring it down bring it down i've actually gone for on mr peekaboo in the corner um so i'm going to try and do bring it down on him um obviously that'll get me an extra point for killing a monster as well then I have done a few prayers. So the first prayer has come from the rune Smiter, and he's cast Ember Storm onto the rune father at the front. And then I've also cast Prayer of Ash from the rune Master onto the rune father as well. So um, he's got plus one to his save, um, I think. And then I've also got Runic Empowerment onto the Auric Hearthguard Berserkers. So the plan. Dragon. Guns. Shoot the dragon. So we're going to uh, shoot the dragon with the guns. They, um, I'm going to spend a command point um, later on to give them plus one to hit. So they're hitting on twos, re-rolling ones because of the rune. Um, and then runic empowerment allows them to re-roll all wounds. So that's the plan to try and uh, slow the dragon down a little bit. See if we can do anything there. Um, apart from that, um, I'm going to have to play around with where these guys go because if they stay there, they are very dead. Um, and these chaps over here are obviously going to have to move around and try and kill the dragon behind the rock. So that is the end of the hero phase. We'll go on to the movement phase next. Okay, so um, we are end of the movement phase. I got a little bit carried away with all of these on here and decided just to leave them so still. he's a girl. Yes. Um, in theory, I, I would like to think this dragon is going to be very wounded. Um, but I just don't have faith um, that I would kill him with the Rune Father. So we'll hold off um, and uh, see how we go. I need to see how many wounds I can do on this dragon. Uh, first of all, I just ran one Auric over... Um, to the rune master just to offer a little bit of bodyguard support and move these guys up onto the objective these guys have fallen back making sure they stay out of the three inches obviously and forming a little screen and then moving over to here the magma drop has moved up and then the hearthguard berserkers have moved in for a six inch charge there on the dragon that I need to kill for my my objective. So that is all for the movement phase. Um, shooting, shooting, yeah. We're gonna do some shooting here. I will um, just have a think about what we're gonna do and then I'll get right back. Okay, um, so we are gonna go into the shooting phase and we are gonna go the Auric Hearthguard Berserkers, or Auric Hearthguard even, into Rick's general here. So we get 10 attacks, uh, 2, 4, 6, seven. Um, they are 4 plus to hit normally, um, I have given myself plus 1 to hit with all that attack, so hitting on 3s, and re-rolling the 1s, and then we are wounding on 3s, and we are re-rolling because of runic empowerment. So that is only five. Mm. And these are minus one. So I will pay my last CP for all our defense. Mm -hmm. So I'm on threes, followed by sixes. 
Oh, field one. Oh dear. I think How much well. damage is that? Two. So two six ups. So it takes two damage. So it takes two damage, and then I roll a dice. And on a four up, which it is not, so nothing happens. It would have halved his moves um, and affected your attacks characteristic as well. So that was, yeah, I'm glad I didn't run the Rune Father in there because... Uh, <laughs> He'd get munched. Yeah, he would get, he would get munched to pieces. Okay, so uh, that is my shooting phase over. Um, I've got some axes in range here but um i don't know whether it's worth doing let me just have a little look maybe got three three axes in range so i'll just try fives and fives uh, and that's almost so no that wasn't worth doing so um we will go now on to the charge base okay so the hearth guard berserkers have made their charge um, I had to use a command reroll. I rolled a four, and I needed a six, and then rerolled and got a seven. So we're in, and I've done my pile-ins. So we're getting thirteen attacks here. He's very dead. That's ten mortals straight away. Yeah, can't stop them. Yeah, so that's him. That's him dead. So that's the bring it down there, uh, which is what we wanted. But Rick has um, obviously held this unit right back in the corner. And as I've only got a four inch move, it means that I'm pretty much no threat at all to, to his objectives. Um, but what is the problem now is Rick's slowly ro running out of mobility as well. Um, so we'll see what happens. That's the end of my turn. So I'll get one point for killing a monster. Mm -hmm. I will get two points for... Your battle uh, my battle tactic, and then I'll get three points for holding more objectives. So yeah. I will get six points from this turn. So it's 14 11 to you. So 14 11 to me at the end of turn three. Big priority. It is. Again, um, scary times. Oh, that's, that's a five. five. Again, you need to stop rolling so high. And I need to stop rolling so low. You do. Unbelievable. I take it. You'll take it, or...? I'm going to take it, yeah. You're going to take it. Okay, so Rick's taking it, so he will be going first on turn four. Turn four. Coming up next. ...to get off the heal action on him, so he went up to nine. Um, and then Bastion um, called down the lightning and took off uh, another mortal wound off of him, taking him back down to eight. Um, that is about it, I think, isn't it, Rick, from, from yeah, your I, I heroes? Yeah, I healed the two wounds on my... Uh, on you my healed the two wounds on there, perfect. So that's pretty much it, really. And then the Vindictors moved up. Yep. Uh, both units here. And so did the... Long and strikes. the Long Strikes moved up as well. And Bastion and the three Vindictors on this side have just stayed where they are, I think. No, they moved up to within. Oh, within just three just what well, just outside of the three to yeah. to charge in, and then your uh, dragon has moved up here as well. The general. So that's a movement phase done. On to shooting next. Um, your boss man. Okay, so Rick's firing his long strikes into my magma drop. Magma drop. Three followed by two sixes of two mortal wound. Uh, that's what I wanted. That's, uh, that's 246 damage. Mm -hmm. Twos. Uh, so that's going to be seven. Seven minus two saves. Tasty twos to win. Yeah, two. and then that's going to be two damage each. Mm. Six. Seven. So these guys are showing my Oryx how to hunt monsters, basically. <laughs> so my monster hunters are being shown something here. Uh, two, four, six, seven. At minus two. two. Uh, so one, two, three passed. That's two damage each. Two damage each. So he is very dead. Very dead. And he did that. So I get a monster. Yeah, so you killed the monster for this turn for one point. 
And um, any other shooting coming? Yes, my Knight Draconis is going to breathe fire into your little hero there. Okay. So D6. Yeah. Gets a 3, so D3 damage. Yep. For 1. For 1, and I will roll a 4 up and not pass it off. So one more the Rune Master takes a mortal wound. Okay, so charges have gone ahead. Bastion obviously made his three inch charge and so did the Vindictors into my Hearthguard Berserkers there. And then the General, what's his name again? The Knight Draconis. The Knight Draconis uh, was trying to get into the Hearthguard Berserkers but didn't quite make it. Uh, so he's gone into the Rune Master instead. So I think Rick is going to start with... I'll, I'll do Bastion first. Bastion because, first, yeah. Um, so threes followed by twos. Uh, so two at minus two could be enough damage. Uh, one saved. So, so that's four, four damage. Four damage. And fours. Whoa! Uh, so didn't do anything. Yeah. Wow. Should have put the dragon in. Okay. And then um, right. So then I'll pick next, and I will go with my Hearthguard Berserkers here. Um, so we'll go with two, four, six. And I believe I've taken the Carl off, so it would just be uh, six into your Vindictors. Uh, so it's two mortals. And one save. Uh, one save at three. Nope. How much damage? Uh, two mortals and then just the one damage, so three on sixes. sixes. Uh, nope, mm -hmm. so that's one dead. Um, I'm going to take the banner off and, and then Taran can take the wound. Just a single guy into Bastion. Hits once. Wounds once. No rend. Uh, three. Oh, and then a four. So he's absolutely fine. He's an absolute beast, that guy. So the one that died yep. blows up. Uh, no. Okay. So then you pick next. Um, I'm going to do my hero into your hero. Okay, Coax. So he's going to use his sword. Now, do this... you want to use any monstrous abilities? I will um, Try and at you. stomp me into the ground. And you're not doing any command abilities. Okay. I would have stomped me, but okay. All right. Any sixes that I roll here um, will make his weapon um, six damage. Is that all? Yes. Wow. And he is minus three rend as well. Six damage. So five attacks, uh, three followed by twos. Yeah. Is this his sword that goes six damage? Is it? Yeah, because I've got the the artifact on there. Oh, I didn't get any sixes. Okay. Cool. Uh, twos. So that's three at minus three rend, I believe. Let me just check. If it is, um, then I'm almost certain they go straight through. It's either minus three or minus two. Uh, it's minus three. Minus three, uh, so they'll be going straight through. Uh, that will be six damage. Six damage. So, so it's two damage per hit, not three. Two damage per hit. So that's um, six damage. So what I will do, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I'll start off with the first two damage into the Auric. Uh, so takes one, and he takes one. And then the next one, uh, he takes it, so he's dead. So then that's three more through five, I think. That, I think she's, she, I think he is dead. Uh, I will just check out the wounds characteristic, but I think he's a goner. So just a correction, the the weapon would actually gone to four damage. Yeah, not four six. damage, not not six. Um, and um, my rune master has actually got six wounds, so I have one last wound left. But he is about to be obliterated by the dragon. <laughs> so, yep. So threes fall by threes. Uh, three hit. Uh, that's three at minus two. Three at minus two. Um, would be sixes because I'm on a I'm on a four up. Um, I will just double check, but I'm pretty sure it's a four up. Da -da -da. Yep. So dead. So four damage. Yep. 
So that is the Rune Master gone. So, um, what have we got left? Your Vindictors? Yeah, my yep. two, two Vindictors. That's it, so let's go. Karen's going to move forward. Yeah, field my battle tactic. Three to the wound. That's four minus one saves. Um, so that is three through. Yep. For one damage each. Yep. Uh, you've killed my hero, so sixes. So you kill one more. Yeah. One more is so gone. Battle tactic. Okay, so yeah, Rick's battle tactic was called uh, broken ranks to kill that. Broken ranks to kill that battle line, and he failed to do that. Um, he did manage to kill the Rune Master here. Um, and kill my magma drop that turn. He is on two objectives, which gives him uh, two points, and then he gets the uh, one point for killing a monster that turn as well. So three points from that turn, uh, which brings him so far then to a tally of 14 points, yep. it's gonna be to close. my 14 points, uh, but I have a turn in hand. So next up, Fire Slayers, turn four. Just run over what we've got. Um, so I've gone for Rune of Awaken Steel this turn, which gives me uh, plus one to my Rend characteristic on all my close combat weapons. Uh, I didn't um, crack the Rune, so I don't get the extra. Um, then for my battle tactic, I've gone for Broken Ranks. Basically, just like Rick had to do for me, I need to kill his two units there. Um, so we'll see. Like that, That's the best of a bad bunch for me. I couldn't really do many other ones. Uh, so we need to try and kill them. Uh, movement phase. I ran these guys a whopping one inch. So they moved uh, five inches in this direction. Uh, the Auric Hearthguard um, stayed where they were. The Rune Father had Ember Storm cast on him, advanced a whopping one inch again. These uh, dwarves are not moving very fast today. Uh, the Battlesmith did advance five inches uh, plus the four, so a nine inch move there. And these guys moved up a little bit. As soon as anyone moved within nine inches of Mr. Cowardly. I mean, what's his name again? Well, he's um, Mr. a man that Mr. Cowardly. Yes. Uh, he uh, flew away again. But obviously, bearing in mind, he's staying out of the three inches of these ones here. He rolled... Rick rolled a six. I think he's rolled a six, a five, and a six. Like, what? for running away with this guy every time. So, he is a true coward. I would call really. him a master dodger. He, a master dodger. Okay. He's a jammy dodger, I would call him. Uh, okay, so next up is the shooting phase. The Oryx are going to have a little pop at the dragon again. And then we'll go into the combat phase. So we're going to go with the Oryx Hearthguard into jammy dodger. And we are going to do 10 shots. Hitting on fours, plus one again because I paid for all out attack. So threes. A lot of ones, dude. Uh, and I am not re-rolling ones this time. And threes. But that's all of those. Two, four, six, seven. And sadly, it only improves the rend characteristic of melee weapons, so this is just minus one. So fours. Mm -hmm. He will go all out defense. Mm -hmm. Um, so it would have been down to three, so he takes two damage. Uh, it's two damage each, so four so damage. Four damage. Yep. Um, um, and I'll just check to see if I'm wholly within 12 inches of that objective. Um, because if I am, which he is, so I'll get... A ward save on that? Six, four, six of ward saves. So sixes. Uh, takes three damage. Takes three damage. And on a four, which I do not roll, I don't slam down again. So he just takes three damage. That's it, three damage. Okay, so three damage taken there. And then we go to the charge phase. I don't think I've got enough to bring him down. Um, but I could hopefully uh, cause a little bit of damage. Um, okay, so that's the end of the shooting phase. Next up, the charge phase. Right, well, first things first. Yep. What are we doing? I'm going to stomp you. Stomp okay, you doing CP. Yep. Uh, no, I don't. No. Okay, so um, what we are going to do here, um, I've got this unit wholly within 12 of the Battlesmith. So the Battlesmith is going to spend a CP 
to allow them to fight before we pick any other units to fight, which basically means they'll get to fight and then my other Hearthguard Berserkers will get to a fight immediately after, um, before Rick gets to pick his. Uh, so we'll go with this five first. Um, so it'll be two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven attacks. Uh, sixes, lots of sixes will be lovely. And I get none. So that is definitely, uh, and we'll get those twos out of there. Not how we wanted that to go. It is. It's exactly how we want uh, it. I cause a whopping two wounds at minus one round. Fours. Um, six up ward. And then a six up ward on one of them. I got a two, so one damage. Wow. So he's up to four. That was terrible. So, well, I suppose if we need the sixes now is when we need the sixes. So we are going uh, two and Carl into everything into your vin uh, Vindictors? Yeah. Wow, not again. That is... Uh... Now you know how I feel. Wow. Uh, I've got enough. <laughs> but you need to roll... Uh, these are all minus one now. So fours. Yeah. So three four-ups. Uh, how much damage each? Uh, only one damage each. So sixes. Where you... Cause one two wounds, so you kill Karen. She's going to explode and then put a wound onto him. Yeah. So he's going to blow up and does no damage. Okay. Karen isn't spiked. And you wounds. you're not you can't fail battle shock from just using one, can you? So that is you not getting your battle tactic and me not getting my battle tactic there. Well. And you now get to smack me back. Yes. Um. You've done both your combat, so Bastion's going to hit those three guys left. Yep. Uh, oh dear, and he hits with two, uh, wounded with two, minus two rend, please fail. Yep, both failed. Uh, that's eight damage. Uh, you need sixes? Nope, I need fours because I moved him within ten. Oh, yeah. uh, so, um, one and a half die. Okay. Uh, so the Vindicta next to him. Two hit. Uh, one wound. Minus one. Failed. Cool. One damage. Yep. Passed. Awesome. So that continues. Dragon. The dragon. Um, three swallowed by twos. No sixes though. That's four at minus three. Four minus three. Um, I don't think I'm holding within twelve of my battlesmith. Let me just double check. I don't think they are. Um, bear with me. Uh, they are. Yep. Yeah. So I get plus one, uh, which still only takes me to a four. So no, it's not enough. Straight through. So that's um, eight damage. Eight damage. One dead. One and a half dead. So one and a half dead, now the dragon. Three to wound. Uh, that's another three at minus two. Uh, through. All through? Yep. That's six damage. Another one and a half, so that's three dead total. Okay, and then end of his attacks, he's mm -hmm. going to try to eat one, so roll a two plus, and he eats Another one, one gone. Ouch. Painful. Jammy Dodger is not to be... Jammy stopped. Dodger, yeah. Is it Jammy Dodger that does the full moon, half moon, total eclipse advert? Pretty much. He just dwarfs. He just total eclipsed the dwarfs, basically. <laughs> uh, okay. So that's the end of my turn. I didn't... I didn't achieve my battle tactic. I didn't kill a monster. Um, I just get the three points because I control more objectives. Uh, and then we roll again. And if you roll another five or a flaming six for your <laughs> thing oh. here, then uh, I'm going to be in trouble, I think. You you are. Two. Two. There's a chance. Yeah. You... Okay. Right. So... Ooh, are you um, going to take it or you're not going to take it? I think... 
Um, Last turn of the game. Yeah. I think I'm actually going to have to have a think about it. So I will be right back. And I'm going with uh, Slay the Warlord for this one. So everything is on bringing this guy down. So bearing that in mind, um, I'll go through um, my hero phase. So I managed to get a CP onto my general here. And I'll explain how we got there in a second. But I managed to get a CP for him from his heroic action. And Rick managed to get a CP for oh my. Uh, Jammy Dodger. Jammy Dodger's got uh, a CP as well. Um, then we moved up the hearth guard and then realized they're not actually going to do anything for the rest of the game so they just moved back to make the charge longer for rick and hold that objective these guys are just holding this objective here um and then i'm just going to let off a volley um into the dragon my rune father got ember storm and runic empowerment cast on him allowing him to move, advance, and charge, and re-roll all wounds. So then um, he spent his command point, obviously, to move the max 6 inches, so he had a 10-inch movement, and then he'll be able to charge afterwards. Uh, the Battlesmith just moved up slightly just to help with um, giving the 4-up ward saves to the Hearthguard Berserkers, and a plus 1 save to um, the models within 12 inches when the banner's planted. And that is about all the movement. The Hearthguard Berserkers stayed exactly where they were there. Um, so, we'll go into the shooting phase. I'll just jump straight into that now. We'll just film that straight away. So we're going to go with the Auric Hearthguard Berserkers. Two, four, six, eight, ten shots. Now, um, do I want to use any of these command points? Uh, yeah, I think I need to really hit them. So I'm going to go with all out attack on them. So threes, please do something. They've done nothing so far. If only sixes did something, that'd be wonderful. And threes. Wow. Uh, three, Rick. Uh, minus one. Uh, I'm going to pay the CP that he, he got in the hero phase mm -hmm. on himself for all our defence. So he's on threes. And he passes everything. That is not good. Um, okay. Some would say... He's a jammy dodger. Uh, okay, so then what are we going to go next? I don't normally uh, throw the axes too much because it's a bit of a waste of time, but I'm going to uh, throw all axes into here. So I'll just um, do three flaring axes here on fives. And fives again, nothing. So that's nothing from there. Uh, they've shot. Okay, so then uh, we'll just move on next to the charge phase. Um, I'll just do that. I'll record that straight away on here. So we're going to go for the um, Rune Father straight into the dragon on a 12. Cool. So he gets in. Uh, the Battlesmith uh, does not get in on a 4. And that is all we're going to go for. Um, I will be paying a CP to breathe fire on your, um, okay. your Rune Father once you move him into position. Okay, no worries. Um, so that's a D3. Or one. Okay, no worries at all. Takes a mortal wound. Um, and I did, um, I forgot to mention, I spent the forge this turn. So he does have a six up ward save from that, uh, which doesn't go off. So I'll move him into place and then we'll start on with the attacks. So here we are, the Rune Father has gone in. Um, what I'm going to do, I can't spend a CP with him, but I'm going to spend a CP with the Battlesmith to allow him to fight before anyone else does. And then I'll fight straight after with the Rune Father. Uh, just to see if there's any way I can take seven wounds off of this guy. Seven wounds, yeah. Seven wounds off. So we'll give this a go. So we'll start with the Carl. I'm all out defensive. Uh, he's all out defensing. I um, um, got two CP. Um, one CP. Uh, uh, yeah, two CP. Uh, sorry, we've spent the one, one there, so down to one CP. Um, I can't use it on him. Because of the raw. Is it really worth using it on the other guy? No. So I'll just... Um, in fact, what else am I going to use it on? 
I'm not going to use it on anything else. So yeah, I will use it on him. So he'll be hitting on twos. Six is a good. So double six. That's exactly what we want. That's four mortal wounds. Okay, brilliant. And then threes. Okay, and then four coming through at no rend. So four two ups. Four two ups. Lots of ones. Rick rolls ones. Rick no, rolls he doesn't. No ones. And okay. then four sixes. Is this from the run father? Nope. This is just a, Ooh, a Carl. Spicy, spicy sixes. Carl. Okay, so, so three, three wounds. So he's taken seven wounds. My rune father needs to cause four wounds. Ooh. Four wounds. Here we go. Exciting. Uh, so I should probably, uh, bear me one second, I'll just get his stats up. Um, he doesn't often get in combo, actually, this guy. He has one rend. Uh, yeah, he's only, he's only one rend, which is not good. So uh, considering the size of the axe that he's got. A... Uh, so he's getting three attacks in on threes, wounded on threes. So two, not what we want. Both through, minus one rend. So threes? Yeah. Oh, oh six damage. That's nice. Three damage each. Oh, it's a spicy meter ball. I can't even look. He's gone. He's gone. Literally to the to the wound. So four damage. Yeah, I do. do I don't mind now. Two, four, six, eight, ten, uh, twelve. Uh, I'm going to pop this into your room, father. So six. Yep. So basically, the dragon explodes. Oh, he's <laughs> just getting rid of those quick. Uh, he explodes, and you roll a dice for every wound he's got. Uh, for every wound that he has, plus for every wound he's got for being. Um, Thunderstrike. Okay, um, and on sixes it's mortal wounds back. Yeah, but uh, he didn't roll any sixes. Yeah, the rune father is victorious. Yeah. Could have screwed up the draw. But... Yeah, I think we've calculated it out that that now puts me. I will get three points for holding more, and I will get three you're, points. You're probably going to win by three. Um, I'll get three points for that as well, which will put me on twenty three. Yeah. Um, what we'll do just because it's our first ever battle report, we will play out the final turn now. Um, let me just, um, well, Rick can attack me here first of all. So, Bastion. Uh, two at minus two. Uh, one save, no, I'm on a five up, so, so both through. Four, uh, both through, eight yep. damage. Eight damage. And they're dead? Yeah, they're dead. That's what I needed. Okay, so that's them away. So basically, do you want to play the last turn or do you want to talk it out? Because we know where this is going to go. Um, we... I think all you need to do really is roll Bastion's charge. Uh, and if he gets to here and kills him... Yeah, he, he... I still need to do... Hold to check. I still need to do a battle tactic to tick because I need five points. Ooh. So I do need to do a battle tactic and I do need to Yeah, I think I think you can get uh I can essentially take two objectives here to get me on to four. Uh -huh. Um I can potentially Yeah kill I think we play your... out because Bastion can kill the Rune yeah, Father. Yeah I can probably yeah, yeah. kill your Rune Father. Yeah. Yep. So what we'll do is we'll go on to Rick's turn five. Yep. Next. In. I want to get, make sure he's out of three. It's still a pretty small charge. Now, I don't want to be that guy, but as Mr. Jammy Jodger has done to me the whole time, um, it's my turn, I get a CP. I'm going to spend that CP and I'm going to run away. You're going to do a D6? Yeah. For five. Cool. You're still within range of my long strikes. So I will. Uh, I will, <laughs> I will run as far away as I can. Uh, not that it's going to save me much. No, the long strikes are hitting you. But I'll take a hit by the long strikes over Bastion any day. Uh, cool. Right. And uh, he's going to... So what's your plan, Rick, for this? Uh, my plan is basically to rush onto this objective. Yep. Uh, my long strikes are now going to have to shoot at the Forge yep. Father. Yep. Um, now, it's an 11 inch still charge. It's still he, has, he has his, his CP to give himself a reroll, and yep. I do have my Triumph as well. So I've got rerolls there. Yep. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm essentially yeah. I need to I'm, I need to sort of rush onto your objectives now. So. Okay. All right. Well, we'll catch you at the end of the move phase. Okay. So end of the movement phase. Vindictors are moved up. Vindictors are moved up. Long strikes are moved up. Bastion had moved round, and then obviously my rune father had run away. So now we're going to be shooting. So shooting with the long strikes into the, the rune father, who has four wounds left. Uh, you're no longer at minus one because you're not within three mm -hmm. inches. Yep. So threes and... A couple of sixes and I'll be very dead. I'm actually going to go all out attack on this. So I'm going to be hitting on twos, wound on twos. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, one six, so two mortals so far. Yeah. Glad I did that. Oh, wow. Rick rolls ones. Okay, so... So six minus twos. I should kill you. Six minus twos. No. Wow. So that's four sixes. <laughs> uh, and then what do they do? Two damage each. Two damage each. Um, so you I don't have. Um, so, and that's another two. So yeah, I don't have my. I don't have my uh, six up anymore. It's just for that no, turn. So, six so I'm dead. Yeah. But that was valiant. Valiant. So <laughs> room father gone. Yeah. Any more shooting? That's my shooting. No. Mode. So we'll catch you at the end of the charge phase. In fact, we'll maybe record the charges here because it's the end and a lot weigh, weighs ways on these. So go on. So what have you got? This guy's gonna charge first. Okay. Uh six inches. Mm, no, I don't think so. Nope. Nope. Um they're gonna re-roll charge. Are you sure you don't want to spend the re-roll on these? These are closer than those, I think. No, because they can get right on the okay. objective. All right. Well, yeah, uh, that was a 12. So they are definitely in, and they are definitely holding that objective. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, it's going to be, what, a six, six inch charge? Yeah, yeah, six. Seven. Just need bodies on the objective. And then the big one is Bastion, but I've just used the reroll, so. Um, and then Bastion is going to do a big charge, hopefully. Eight. It's an eight. That could be enough for what I need to do. That is actually enough for yep. what I need to do. It puts me right there, which puts me in that objective. So I'm more than happy now for us to not roll any dice. Bastion. Probably kills him with ease. Even if he doesn't kill him, is he worth more? Well, we're both two points. models each. Both, both two models. Uh, well, how about we just roll this then? Because the, and he's in as well. So yeah. Why don't we just finish it off with Bastion against the Bowsmith? Okay. Come on. What have we got? All that attack. Yep. The last CP and twos. That's wow. amazing. Amazing. Can I just say, Rick rolls ones. Uh, okay. Got minus one two. through. Minus two. Yeah. Um, failed. Four damage. He's dead. Because he had taken two wounds anyway. Yeah. So, he killed him anyway, even with all of those ones. Do you know what? He, he was just... He, was, he wasn't he was exerting himself too much. He just wanted to <laughs> do it just enough to kill him. So, that gives you three points for controlling more. Uh, yeah, so I've now hold four. Yeah. And I got my Slay the Warlord. And you got your so Slay the Warlord for five two. Points. So uh, four, uh, five, five total. Five total. Okay. So we'll just tally that up, and then we'll get back to you. Okay. So we've got a final score. Uh, the final score is Rick's Stormcast finish on nineteen, and the Fire Slayers finish on twenty-three. It all came down to Rune Father versus Jammy Dodger, and luckily uh, Rick didn't disappoint, and he continued to roll once. <laughs> uh, so that is the end of our first battle report um, maybe we'll do like um, Luke does on uh, Striking Scorpion when I help him out and do a unit of the game what's your unit of the game Rick for me I would say it's Jammy Dodger I think he was a bane uh, damn, well no I'm, I'm going to go for my long strikes because they were pretty consistent oh, Bastion throughout. was pretty cool as well uh, yeah but he failed to kill the, the battle line when I needed it the yeah. most well, I'm just going to go with my um, generic 
Hearthguard Berserkers. Yes, they did. Um, well. Over here, they did very well. Obviously, I know it um, helped with Rick um, forgetting the rule, but hopefully it wouldn't have made too much difference. But we will maybe find out another day with a rematch. Um, but that's us for today. So that's the end of the battle probe. Thanks for tuning in. If you could give us a like, subscribe, um, that'd be brilliant. Any feedback down below would be amazing. We're just doing this for fun. So um, any, any comments are, are more than welcome. And we'll catch you next time. Take care.